Hello, today I'm going to show you a couple proofs um, with perpendicular bisectors. So in our first proof, we have segment AB, segment AB, and we have its perpendicular bisector right here. So we know the perpendicular bisector, it is perpendicular, and it also bisects AB, which means that this is equal to this. And let's call this point M, okay? And let's choose any point on this perpendicular bisector. Let's call this point C. And we want to prove that point C that lies on the perpendicular bisector is equidistance from a to B. So we want to prove that AC is equal to BC. Okay, so let's connect A to C and B to C. And the first thing we want to do is look at these two triangles right here. So these two triangles, they have one congruent side and they have one congruent angle. Okay, and we also know that MC is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. So MC is equal to MC, which means these two triangles have another side in common, which is MC. So these two triangles, AMC and BMC, by the congruence postulate of side angle side, side angle side, we can say that triangles AMC and is equal to congruent to triangle BMC by side angle side. Okay, so now we know by the postulate of um, corresponding sides of congruent triangles are congruent, we can say that every side, every, con every corresponding side of these two triangles are congruent. So we can also say that AC is equal to BC. And there we go. We have to prove, we have proved that AC is equal to BC and that any point on the perpendicular bisector of a segment is equidistant from the endpoints of that segment. So this will work for any point. This will work for the point here, point here. It would be the same thing, same, same um, way to prove it. So let's go on to the next proof. We have the same segment AB, AB, but now we're proving the other way. So we have point C, and we want to prove that point C is on the perpendicular bisector of AB. We are given that point C is equidistance from A and equidistance from B. So AC is equal to BC. We want to prove that point C lies on the perpendicular bisector of AB. So let's make the bisector of AB. So we agree that that's the midpoint, so let's call this M again. So we can say that AM is equal to BM. Here we go. And now, what can we do to see that if these two triangles are congruent? Well, we also know, again, that MC is equal to MC. So based on um, the congruence postulate of side, 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 we can say that triangle AMC is congruent to triangle BMC. And so now this is by congruence postulate of SSS, which is side, side, side. So now we know that congruent triangles have all congruent angles. So we can say that this angle is equal to this angle, corresponding angles. This angle is equal to this angle, and this angle is equal to this angle, okay? So since we know that these two angles add up to 180 degrees, um, we know that 180 degrees divided by 2 is 90. So this right here is 90. And there we go. We have proved that point C is using the information from what is given that point C is equal distance from B and A, we have proven that point C 
it lies on the perpendicular bisector of AB. Hope that was useful. I'll explain more in another lesson.